Hi, this is James again from World War II Jeep and Rifle. And today I'm uh, trying to debug a GRM 55 test set, which is primarily used to diagnose modules through several test sequences in the PRIC 25 or PRC 25. It also has uh, more limited use in debugging the PRIC 77s. So Anyway, this is, a, this is a unit that hasn't passed self-test, and I've been uh, trying to get it to pass self-test. I also have a second GRM55 that uh, I'm able to swap out some parts like probes and things, and, and uh, I'm getting very similar results on both of these units. Um, one thing that I did was I, I debugged this antenna coax cable. Uh, it did have a very small short between the center conductor and the shield. Um, I have fixed that and it is ohming out infinite ohms between the two. <clears throat> so I thought that was the I thought that was the trick, but uh, nevertheless that didn't solve the self-test problem on the GRM55. This is a known working PRC77. I've tried it out on other known working PRC77s. I have uh, switched out the GRM55 and get the same results. So the goal here is I want to take a video, show you the setup that I'm using and the procedure that I'm following. Uh, read, I've read the TM. I think I'm following the procedure just to do the basic self-test on the GRM55. I want to make sure that I'm doing it right for any of you guys out there more familiar with this equipment. And uh, I'll show you some of the symptoms. Okay, so first of all, I've connected up all the cables, now I'll connect up power. Okay, power is coming through this CX8593 cable. I have the short on the, uh, the third connector portion. That is for battery mode. If you're using it in a, in a different configuration, you need to connect up a secondary piece of equipment. So that's shorted, this is on. Batteries are good. This is a known good unit. Tested out. Works great up to three miles away with uh, another radio. I have the frequency set to 50, 5000. And uh, following the procedures, everything here is connected. Um, there's a little cheat sheet here for, for what to do. Turn on the PRC 25, in this case 27. Set the volume to max, clockwise, done. Turn on squelch, operate the transmitter for two minutes. I think that that's probably more valid in the case of a PRC-25. I'm operating the transmitter now. Uh, the PRC-25 has a vacuum tube for the final stage of the power amplifier. And so that, you know, this may be just warming it up and getting the grid, uh, uh, voltage is all uh, uh, established. So nevertheless, I'm going to hold this transmitter down. Uh, it seems like overkill to go for two minutes, but maybe I'll talk for a bit while I do that. Okay, next in the sequence here, I'll be following test sequence number one. Function switch in A, function switches in A. Select switch position is in switch position 1. It's in 1. I will put my test point on the cow. Test points on cow. I will ground it to the uh, GRM55 ground connection. And um, then I have the cow knob turned all the way counterclockwise. And the procedure is to hold the test button and adjust the cow control, this knob, until the red lights and then adjust it back until the green just lights. So you're looking for the threshold between red and green. <clears throat> and uh, okay, so that, let's just call that two minutes. I've discontinued transmitting. And now I get a red light with the test button pushed and I will start sweeping the cowl knob clockwise. I get it to flash off. 
I'm all the way clockwise. Okay, let me go find back that, that flash. Kind of clockwise again. There's a little green. You can see I get some momentary green, but I cannot get it to stay green. When I sweep, get that grounded again. When I sweep, I can get a momentary green. If I stop moving the knob, it flashes back to red. It will not stay green. Okay. I've done this procedure with a different probe. These probes are supposed to be calibrated to the units that they are shipped with. Um, but I tried it anyway using that unit's probe. Same thing. And in fact, I've noticed that with the probe not connected at all, I get the exact same results. Red light at full counterclockwise. I go clockwise and momentarily I can get green lights but I can't get a green light to stay. You can see what I'm doing here. No matter what I do, I can get it to flash, but I can't get it to stay. So that's, uh, that's the setup that I'm using, the procedure I'm following. Not sure if I'm doing it right. Very interestingly, exactly the same for symptoms between the two. Maybe this is just how it's supposed to work. Could be a limitation of the PRIC 77 versus the PRIC 25 that this was originally designed for. Uh, I'd appreciate any feedback out there. Did I, am I doing this uh, by the book? Uh, should I have the antenna, the Bushwhip antenna also connected? I've done it that way. Same results. Um, and uh, if this is a commonly seen issue, Boy, it'd be great to get some notes back on this one to, from uh, anybody that knows a, sp a specific module in this test set that needs to be replaced or other things that uh, I may need to look into. Anyway, thanks for watching. Hope to hear from you guys. See you next time.